Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lexia75, The Black Unicorn. Today we're going to be talking about, is there AI in Africa? Basically, this is part of my Tech in Ghana series that I'm bringing to you guys who are interested in technology in Africa and if it's here. AI, for those of you who don't know, is artificial intelligence. So, the simplest way to put this is yes, it of course is here. Why wouldn't it be here? 100% it's here. Here's the thing, guys. I think when we talk about AI, we need to talk about what type of AI are we discussing, right? AI can have so many meanings depending on who you talk to. Some people think, oh my God, the robots are gonna take over the world, ah! right? Some people are like, mm, what exactly is artificial intelligence? Are we using that to be able to have the ability to forecast how things will happen and be able to have the ability for the machine to be able to think better than us, and stronger than us and faster than us and be able to tell us what to do, when to do, how to do it? Hmm. AI here in Africa is used in its most simplest of terms. Um, here in Africa, AI is typically used, and when I say here in Africa, I'm really talking about West Africa, in particular Ghana. Um, but, you know, when you do a bit of research and you interact in the tech community with people from uh, other areas that have a strong, um, well, a growing technical industry, um, and you find those areas in uh, Kenya, South Africa, Nigeria, Ethiopia, you'll see that, uh, and Egypt as well, and Mor uh, Morocco to an extent, but you'll see as well that there is this still basic level of usage of artificial intelligence. Some of the larger organizations, corporations, like let's say big banks that have international affiliations, are, you know, basically they are part of, uh, let's say Barclays, it's a huge bank in the UK, all over the world, including Africa, right? Just with a name change. Um, so when you talk about it in that extent, they may be using artificial intelligence a little bit um, at a more m moderate point. No one is using artificial intelligence here in an advanced way at all, no. The best way you can see artificial intelligence used here in Africa, in particular in Ghana is the ability to, to have um, chatbots. Uh, so you're on a website or you're on your mobile phone on someone's website and you're trying to find out something and a bot pops up asking, do you need help? How can I help you? And then you're interacting in that way. That's a form of art artificial intelligence with a little bit of machine learning um, embedded inside of it. Uh, so when you talk about artificial intelligence, machine learning and artificial intelligence are pretty much married together because as you move forward with one, the other automatically has to come into play because you can't just have the ability to have something um, predict or analyze without the machine learning from the data it collects, right? So here in Ghana in particular, which I thought was interesting when I was um, doing the research before I moved, Google partnered with Aseshi University on being able to provide a AI um, center here in West Africa and basing it out of Aseshi University. Now, I haven't heard much of that since the launch. I don't know what they're doing with that. I'm not sure. As I find out, of course, I'll, you know, update those who want to know, but that is a positive uh, in the sense that it's allowing for the big tech um, firms. So the top big three are going to be Google, um, Amazon and um, Microsoft. Right. And so you have one of the top big three and I guess you can count Facebook and that'd be four. But if you have one of the big top um, uh, tech firms in the world, wanting to do and seeing potential here in Ghana, that's a positive. Now, if you really want to understand why Ghana, I would say simply this, some of the best minds in technology in the world have been Ghanaian and or, or they are right now Ghanaian. Um, one of the leading minds in AI and artificial intelligence when it comes to facial recognition, because fa facial recognition is a form of AI. That means that you take your phone and you have it up to your face like this, and it recognizes your face, and then you can unlock your phone. Well, in China, um, and probably some other places, your phone facial recognition is used as payment. It's connected to your 
um, virtual wallet, which allows you to pay for items, pay for your dinners, stuff like that. So um, compared to China, the U.S. is behind the artificial intelligence, you know? I mean, even though some of the top researchers in the world are in the U.S., China is blowing past everybody. Africa has a while to catch up because simply put, technology is not taught in the way it should be in the schools here. And also, the people teaching the technology don't use it. So they don't have the ability to put practical knowledge to what the theory is that they're teaching. So it becomes a problem. So to me, Africa, especially Ghana, is completely behind with technology because the people here are the ones who are able to use the technology properly and create business from it are self-taught, period. They are self-taught. They figured out a way to access content and information online to teach themselves how to use the technology, build businesses from it, and are scaling. Love, love, love that. But that should not be the only way that you gain this, this knowledge. Um, so yes, AI is here in Ghana. It is in Africa, but is at such a rudimentary level that, um, it's still going to take time for it to really, um, uh, take off. Now, some of you are going to be in my comments talking about, no, 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 this company uses this form of AI and this company uses that form of AI. And that may be true or it may not be true because I've noticed one fundamental fact about Ghanaians that I find very disturbing is the fact that when they don't know something, they don't admit it. And instead of asking for help or assistance or just flat out just saying, I'm not really sure, what do you think? It's a pretend like I know. And that becomes a problem with the ability to collaborate, brainstorm, and come up with new ideas and new ways of doing things and or sharing skills. Uh, so I, I, I just have to put that out there because tech is my field. And when I engage with people here sometimes, I realize and recognize what they don't know. And especially when they say to me, well... <laughs> They say to me, well, you know, you're just going to have to find out. You need to talk to people and find out this, find out that. And I'm like, find out what? I mean, just, I, what? Do you even know what I mean when I'm talking to you about API security? Do you get what I'm saying? You know, so this is just an example. No, it's not artificial intelligence. But if I'm talking to you about a very specific subject and a specific topic that directly correlates with a specific activity and you don't understand what that activity is and then you turn around and try to flip it on me and then try to say well you know you need to figure it out I already figured it out the whole thing is I want to know have y'all reached that point in the technology yet and they haven't so for me technology here as I mentioned in my tech in Ghana video and I will continue to mention is about 15 to 20 years behind um, the United States so you know to me they're just now getting access to um, the tools and concepts and knowledge that we've had access to for years. E-commerce, which I probably mentioned before, but I'm going to mention again, is a brand new uh, concept here. People are just now wrapping their minds around buying items online. Now, there are some things here that will make it complicated to buy things online, like the fact that there are no actual house addresses. So it makes it way more complicated. However, e-commerce slowly but surely is starting to take off with some very innovative entrepreneur saying, why not? Right? And I love that. Um, e-learning. <laughs> e-learning is so much fun here. <laughs> to me, e-learning is, 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 is um, there's a lot of things going on that can uh, make um, industries that should be thriving uh, launch slowly. I can tell you right now that um, COVID-19 has forced Ghanaians to accept e-learning, not just for children um, and university students. And I can tell you now the universities here lost their mind when it came to e-learning. They didn't know what to do, how to do, when to do it. So that's it in a nutshell about AI. I probably will make another video talking about e-learning because that is just... So um, hopefully this gave you a little bit of information about the scene here when it comes to technology, in particular artificial intelligence. If you're interested in doing this, you won't have a problem doing this using cloud computing here in uh, Ghana or in anywhere else in Africa. Um, let me know in the comments if you even know what AI is or if you found this video helpful and or if you want me to do more tech videos where you get high level information like this and just some a little bit of an insight. 
whatever. Just tell tell me in the comments so I can see what, what's up. Um, guys, if you want to learn more about what I'm doing here in Ghana, go to theblackunicorn.org. Uh, that's where you will find my real estate company, but also the Black Unicorn Academy is part of that website. So if you go to the Black Unicorn Academy, you can join and become part of the group of people who are B1 focused and learn more about how to prepare themselves mentally and financially to come over to Africa to either live, move, invest, or build. And it allows for us to form a community of like-minded people. I provide online content similar to how you get in YouTube, but just more in-depth and more focused on uh, repatriating back to Africa. I look forward to uh, making more videos with you guys. I hope you took time to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much for joining.